Shalom, I'm giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rukakodash. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rukakodash. And Shalom to the hopefully elect out there. Anyway, this is a quick video. I'm getting ready to make another video, but I saw this, so I said, let me do a quick video on this. And I want to say a few words, and I want to give you a homework assignment, which you're going to like, you're going to really love. You don't got to do it, but, uh, but, you, but I'll throw it out there. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. If not, you don't have to do it. Big deal. Anyway, this is, uh, I'm going to entitle this, Read, The Minister Refuses to Eat Lamb for Passover. And uh, this is uh, the Minister of Wellness, Nathaniel Jordan. Um, he's, he's a, how can I call him, a health advocate. He's a nutritionist, you can say a dietitian, whatever words you want to throw at him. And he deals with, you know, diet as a source to uh, reversing cancer and all kinds of diseases, diabetes, high blood pressure. And I've been following this guy. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let me see some. I have subscribed to him, but I'm going to hit the uh, the bell because I do get his. Uh, matter of fact, let me see some. Bear me for a minute. Yep, yep, yep. So I, this, this uh, notification prompted me to go to this page. So um, I don't know, you know, when I remember some years ago he was on, he really didn't go into the Hebrew Israelite thing. Um, but now as of, I don't know, year and a half, two years, three years, I don't know. But uh, he's on the Hebrew Israelite tip. I don't know if he watches GMS or IUIC or whatever. I'm pretty sure he has. So he comes on the uh, on the Hebrew Israelite chip, uh, uh, tip. So I don't know if this is his first Passover, because as you study being an Israelite, you know you have high holy days. You have the Sabbath. You have the New Moon Sabbath. You have uh, you know you have the high holy days, and one of the more most important holidays that everybody gets, you know prepared mentally months before it comes, you get your mindset right. Matter of fact, I get nervous. Not not nervous to the point I want to jump out my skin, but you know, because that's the time when when people fall off. It's always right before the uh, Passover. So anyway, as you can see, that this is a re, obviously, to the minister refuses to eat lamb for Passover. Well, if that's the case, I want to see this video. Watch this. Um, Y'all can watch it coming up in another 23 minutes. Now, if he doesn't eat lamb on the Passover, he's not keeping the Passover. And he's keeping the pass Passover unworthily. Now, he can go and go to a farm and find a, a lamb that was raised organically, if you know what I mean, and, you know, Say this is the lamb. You know, you got to find a lamb, a lamb that's one year old, one year, one year old, and it has to be without blemish, meaning it has to have no spots on it, and it has to be a, you know, a, obviously it has to be a male. So, is is male is a lamb a male, you and a and a female? Lamb is a, is a you. Somebody help me out there. Anyway, anyway, um, you can watch this. Oh, this is the thing about the homework assignment. Like I said, you don't have to do it. I'm going to do it. And um, if you want to do it, you want to have fun with this, it's a fun homework assignment. And it's very simple. Since Easter is a couple of days away, matter of fact, you got Good Friday and then you got Easter, right? Which is Easter Sunday. In the Christian community, Good Friday is when? Matter of fact, I don't got to go to it. We all, we all, we all been Christians. Good Friday is supposedly when 
the Lord was crucified, right? And Easter Sunday morning, that's when he rose. So this is the thing. Showing, proving one thing. Christians are either dumb as hell or just don't know how to count. So we, I'm going to go to various page, Christian pages, and I'm going to see what, how they respond to me so we can have a little fun with them. So they, they always get at us. We're going to get at, at them now. How can you get three days and three nights? The scriptures say three days and three nights. There's one scripture that says after three days, which is going into the fourth day. So you have uh, uh, three 24-hour periods. A minute after that three 24-hour period, which is three days, 24-hour days, that's the fourth day. It could be a minute after. It could be five minutes after. It could be six hours after, right? Minute after three 24-hour days is considered the fourth day. Oh, but it's a minute, a minute in. It's the fourth day. Now, we go by the days based upon the, the, the sun going down. Esau goes by the, uh, you know, midnight is a new day, which doesn't make any sense. But um, how can you get a Friday? How can you, how can you take Friday, the, the day or the, the time period that the Lord was crucified? How did, how did he ra raise or rise back from the dead on a Sunday? That's only two days, Friday. Saturday, Sunday. That's two days. That's two days. Oh, well, he rose after the very second. Well, if that's the case, that means that means he didn't he didn't he wasn't in there for three days and three nights. Three days and three nights mean three 24 hour periods. So how in the hell do you get a Friday to Sunday? And that's three days. And the scriptures do, do say does say after three days, three complete days, three 24-hour per, uh, periods. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.